Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. It is your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any of our platforms. Please reach out to me directly, email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we are discussing a variant launched in 2019. This is the Patek Philippe World Time 5231J001. So the 5230 came out in 2016 is the next generation Patek Philippe World Time watch. And while the 5131 was initially retained in the catalog, that was slowly switched over to the 5231, of which different metals and different dial iterations exist. So the yellow gold model with cloisonné world time combination was launched in 2019, as you see here. And we have a cloisonné dial that includes grand faux enamel cloison, or gold wires forming the land masses. We have a view of North America, South and Central America, Africa, the Middle East, and Europe. And this watch in yellow gold is a little bit smaller than the predecessor model. This is actually 38.5 millimeters, 10.3 millimeters thick from lug tip to lug tip, 46.7 millimeters, with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. We'll throw it on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference wears nicely. The strap is super stiff because it's brand new. It hasn't broken in. So to pull it flush, I have to pull it tight. It makes the watch look broader than it is. Rest assured, a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference could wear this watch well. And the down the barrel view really shows you how far the lugs are from the edge of my wrist. That's the true view. This angle will show you roughly how you're going to fit relative to your cuffs and shirts. And as you can see, no problem, even with a tight dress shirt. Over the top, this is a view a lot of people ask for, but it always makes the watch look wider than it is, especially since this watch is not buckled onto my wrist and I'm pulling it tight. It looks broad. The strap is high grade, but again, stiff because it's a brand new Patek Philippe OEM strap. Calfskin on the bottom. We have large it's a medium large rectangular scale alligator leather on the top and it is gloss medium brown we have a folded edge and a monotone stitch and this being the recent version of Patek's factory strap we have pull tab spring bars so with a fingernail you can pop the strap off of the watch we have a single fold deployant clasp in matching yellow gold with a calatrava cross the logo of the brand externally. It is a friction fit snap shut clasp rolling over to the case. The lugs are broken out and they have a notch between their profile and the case. This gives the watch the appearance of being larger than it is, although again it's not as large as the 5131 that came before, it has presence. The case itself, like the lugs, polished, but the case is cylindrical and sheer. The bezel set in somewhat from the case band to visually thin it out. It's got a very short vertical lip and then the remainder is conical until we get close to the crystal and then there's a flat plane giving way to the cambered sapphire. A little push adjuster swaps your local time. We'll talk about that in a moment. We have a push down crown with the Calatrava cross. The watch is 30 meters water resistant. Cloisonne enamel is a special craft practiced in-house at Patek Philippe. Many brands will outsource this kind of work, but Patek has all of the fundamental crafts, even the métier d'art, inside its manufacture and its various departments. Taking a look at the dial, you can see that there's a couple things going on. First, enamel. The dial is a solid gold base onto which glass-based or vitreous paint is applied and fired repeatedly at up to 800 degrees centigrade. That creates the glossy gleam. Now, the application of different colors creates the distinction between the land masses and the oceans, but there's also application of different thicknesses of the individual colors, which allows for the shading between the different zones. Now, the cloison or little gold wires that are shaped by hand to create barriers and then the enamel specialist applies the enamel artfully within the barriers to create not just the wire partition between landmass forms, but also the colors and the shading. Very difficult to do, time consuming, and very low volume. That's why these watches, unlike the standard world time, were always application pieces. So you'd have to apply and be approved before you could buy this, even as the standard world time was always available more or less on demand. Now we have the Louis Cotier system, which includes this counterclockwise rotating 24 hour reference ring. And you could see as I set the watch 
that it moves counterclockwise as the time advances. We have a semicircle in silver, that's roughly where it's day. We have a semicircle in dark blue, that's roughly where it is night. We have 24 cities representing the 24 principal time zones. And you can see right now I'm in New York, so I'm in Philadelphia, so my time zone is U.S. East Coast. Philly and New York are on the same time, and I can see that this time at center, 8 is 8 a.m., because under New York, I can read the 8. I can also see that in Paris, it's 2 p.m. I can see in Hawaii, it's 3 a.m., and you can see that it is midnight in Noumea. So you read the hour adjacent to your reference city for any given time zone, and then you reference the minutes, and you know the exact hour and minutes in that time zone. Now, if I want to change my time zone, take a look at New York. I'm going to go to the Azores. That sounds like a nice place to go. And I just reset the reference city. It always sits at 12 o'clock. If the city's upside down, you're looking in the wrong place. This is where the reference city goes. Taking a quick look at the reverse side, we have the long-running 1977 to present caliber 2 40 micro rotor. This is the 240 HU for El Universel. It is the premium Patek Philippe automatic winder. So generally you've got the center rotor automatics, which are large volume, lower end watches, and you have the micro rotors, which tend to be complications in higher end watches. The advantage of a micro rotor is that the winding system and the rotor, they're in the same plane as the other bridges. So you get the big open case back vista to observe and enjoy your movement that you'd get with manual wind. You also get a thin profile like manual wind, but you get the convenience of an automatic winder. The Rotor is 22 karat gold. It sits on ceramic bearings for high efficiency, ready, unlubricated, low maintenance winding. 48 hour power reserve, three hertz beat rate, that's six beats per second. Pivots on 33 joules, it's adjusted in six positions. It features Patek Philippe's traditional Gyromax free sprung balance for resistance against shock and precise adjustment. We have an anti-magnetic silicon Spiromax hairspring. Combined with the Patek Philippe seal, all those things together mean we have accuracy of no worse than minus three plus two seconds per day. And it is a beautifully decorated movement. Although a combination of manual and mechanical finishing techniques, Patek does a better job than say F. P. Jean, Audemars Piguet, or Jeger Lecoult of making the hand finished elements self-evident and dominant and the machine finished elements a little bit more background. Front and center, you can see that the bridges are beautifully rounded and mirrored. We have engine turning in several sizes on the base plate. We have stripes with a color or darkness gradient from one side to the other. That always indicates abrasive wheel rather than stamped stripes. The screw Heads are all black polished with chamfered slots and circumference. Locating pegs is on the balance cock that are used to locate the bridge on the base plate. Those are polished on their tops. You can see those three top polished locating pegs. We have polished countersinks for the pivot jewels. All in all, a very attractive movement with satination on the ratchet wheel as well as the train wheels. If you love this watch, it is a gorgeous rarity. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.